2 Samuel chapter 5 records for us the account of David being anointed king over Judah and as king over Israel as he further expands and defends his territory. Whereas when David was a youth, God had already recognized David as being the next king after then King Saul, the time had now come that all the people of Israel publicly swore their allegiance to David as king over the entire country of Israel. Now, King David sets his eyes on the city of Jerusalem, as at this time it still did not belong to Israel. Placing great trust in Jerusalem's strong fortifications, the Jebusites living in Jerusalem exclaimed that even the blind and the lame are all that they would need to turn David's army away, taunting and hoping to intimidate David. In any case, the intimidation did not work. They failed to consider that David had God on his side. God granted David victory against Jerusalem, and David made it the capital over all Israel. What can we learn from this? First, though it took some time for Israel to absorb Jerusalem into its country, it has to be noted that Jerusalem had already belonged to Israel well before King David's time. Joshua 18.28 recounts for us that the city of Jerusalem was an inheritance for the tribe of Benjamin, but according to Judges 1.21, it was a territory that they were unsuccessful in claiming. King David was only bringing to Israel what was rightfully given to them by God prior. All of us can relate to this story. We have a physical or spiritual challenge or stronghold in the way. We have a track history of losses against it and we're intimidated. But regardless of our personal experience with it, the important thing to ask is, what does God say in His Word about it? Let's pray and ask the Lord to reveal to us what strongholds we have been allowing to sit rent-free in our lives. And let's take the time to pray for faith and perseverance in these things, knowing that God has promised breakthrough according to His Word.